Well, the title of her book says it all, really. Mental illness, the ills of racism, and the African-American experience. It's my pleasure to welcome to the show local author Ruby Johnson. Thank so you. nice to meet you. And it was perfect timing with the conversation we just had to come now and open the pages of your book. Tell me why you wrote the book that you have uh, now written for us. I wrote the book to make people aware of mental illness and clinical depression in this country. I think the more people know about it and realize it's just like any other disease, heart attack, cancer. You can't help getting mental illness any more than you can having cancer. And I think when people are made aware of this, it'll take some of the stigma away from mental illness. A lot of people not go and get help for mental illness and clinical depression because of the stigma. And it's help out there. It's drugs out there, it's therapy for mental illness and also for clinical depression. And uh, that leads, depression leads to suicide. Nationally, suicide is a leading cause of death. But in southwestern Indiana, where I live, it has the highest rate of suicide of any area in the country. Well, now, hopefully this, your book will help. I hope so. Open this, that conversation. Yes, this is alarming to me. Uh -huh. This is a personal story for you. Yes, it is. Tell us about your journey. I had clinical depression myself. I, my son had paranoid schizophrenia, which is a terrible disease. Yes. And I saw what he went through. He couldn't help having schizophrenia, but that's how he was treated. He was incarcerated a third of his life. He wasn't a big time criminal, but because of his mental illness and drugs. And while he was in prison, my family and I got a lawyer to get him put in a mental health facility. The judge ordered him to do it, but instead they sent him to prison. And they, their rationale was he'll get treatment there. Well, he was in isolation for a full year, paranoid schizophrenia with no medicine. And uh, when I called him on it, they said he was offered treatment, but he refused. Of course he refused. That's the He's reason he should have been yes. in a mental health facility. So I walked that journey with my son, and I saw what he went through, and it just broke my heart. I can't imagine going through that, Ruby. I cannot imagine a yeah. mother having to go through that. So when you started writing your book, when did you begin the process of writing this book? Well, I thought about writing it five years ago. My son was in the hospital. He was on a bent. I knew he couldn't hear me, but I said, Rodney, your death is not going to be in vain. And I tried to write it when he first passed, but my nerves was too high. I couldn't do it. Right. But then I sat down and I just started writing. And I started remembering things that happened 30, 40 years ago. And I said, well, that's God letting me know he wants me to write this book. How can we get our hands on your book, Ruby? Well, you can email me at rubyjohnson0228 at gmail.com, or you can call me at 812-477-0528. Thank and you so much. And I want to try to put it on Amazon someplace yeah, like that. Yeah, so people can get it a little yeah, more easy, uh -huh. easily. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you Bless for you having you me. for what you're doing and for sharing your story. That's thank so you. important. Thank you. Mm -hmm. We'll be back with more Lifestyles. We have check-in with Ron.